Um, today I'm just doing some sheeting. Um, I ain't going to bore you with watching it all for it can take quite a while. I'm going to get a couple of uh, full size strips, one on the bottom here and one on the bottom at the back. I uh, should be able to get enough bending them to put them round. Um, these side bits and along this nose and that will probably have to be stripped balsa because that's such a hard curve. Um, and again with some of the back and round these ducts all need to be stripped balsa as well. The kit gives you all stripped balsa um, but where I can use a full sheet um, I will do. So it adds to the strength uh, it just makes the um, sheet in a little bit faster. So I'm going to get on with that now and uh, we'll see how we get on. So I'm going to try and get this on here. If you can see I can get a large amount of bend on there, no trouble at all. So I'll get some glue on that and see how we get on.
Okay, um, half an hour, maybe less, and uh, <laughs> already sheeted three quarters of the front nose, so not too bad at all. Um, I'm just going to show you a little trick someone learnt me, an old timer. Um, I don't know how good a view you got of that. As you can see here, I have quite a big gap. I sort of left that on purpose to a degree, but you could have nipped it up a bit better. But that's the way the wood wanted to go. Um, what an old timer taught me is, or told me, when you're shaving bits off wood, which you'll inevitably do quite a bit of shaving off wood while you're doing things like this. Okay, um, I haven't got a shaving perfect size because I haven't had to do much yet. So I shall just cut a shaven. That's it. Bits like this, this, just put them aside. Just put them aside and keep hold of them. Every now and then you'll get a bit where you're going to get a gap. It can't be helped. Um, it can be the curvature of the aeroplane, whatever. A little bit of shaven. Okay. Find one roughly the right size. And squeeze it in the hole, slide it in, push it in, hammer it in, whatever it needs, just as long as it goes in. Okay, you can nip it in, it's only soft ulcer. Okay, once you get your suya fairly well in, like that, then just run a little drop of your thin super glue over it. So, so that's fairly well in. Speed that up a little. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let's fill that. sliver of wood would be a lot stronger than filler save you a lot of filler which is handy um, um, just does a nice job so. saved having to fill it full of filler to solve a little hill. Um, I think that's it for tonight. I'll do some more of this tomorrow. I might film it and just speed it up for you so you can all see it being done. Um, I'll see how I get on. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, have a good evening. That's night time now. And um, I shall see you on the next video. Okay, bye bye.